You've decided to fire your employee. Do you have to pay them? My name is Erin Brandt and I'm an employment lawyer and co-founder at Porta Law. And the short answer is probably. In British Columbia, the Employment Standards Act sets out minimum standards for all provincially regulated employees, so most workers, and this includes minimum standards around severance pay. So what this means is that if an employee has been working for you for less than three months, there is no minimum requirement for notice or severance. If an employee has been working with you for more than three months, you have to give them at least one week of notice or a week of pay in lieu of that notice, what we call severance pay. If they've been working for you for more than a year, you owe them a minimum of two weeks of notice or severance. If they've been with you for more than three years, that increases to three weeks, more than four years, that increases to four weeks, and so on with an additional week per year of completed service up to eight years. So once an employee has been with you for eight years or longer, you owe them a minimum of eight weeks of notice or severance. Now that's not the whole story. Um, there may still be severance owed at common law or pursuant to an employee's employment contract, but it is important to remember that these minimum standards do exist in British Columbia. We don't have at will employment, but that they're just minimums. So it's the first place to start, but it's not the full story. If you have any questions, please do leave your comments below or feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for joining.